Okay, guys, for today's lesson, you need the page 39 out of your workbook. Okay, page 39. And it starts off with number three. So again, that's page 39. So today we're going to do some more work with word problems, um, where they're at, how to write them, looking at expressions and whatnot. So the story. If we look at Farmer Ted as weighing his animals, and he knows that a pig weighs approximately one quarter as much as a cow. He also knows that the Clydesdale horse weighs about twice what a cow weighs, and a sheep weighs approximately 100 pounds less than a pig. So if you look at this problem, most of it is referring back to a cow. Like all the information is pretty much going back and talking about cows. So the cow is the one we know the least about, so it gets the most basic variable. Uh, there's nothing really attached to it. It's just the letter C, which stands for cow. Now, if I look at the horse, so this is the next line. He knows the horse weighs about twice, so twice what a cow weighs. So if a cow is C, then the horse is going to be two times C, or twice. And then a sheep. Um, well, so the sheep weighs approximately 100 pounds less than a pig, but we don't know what a pig is right now. So back up here, it talks about pig. Um, he knows a pig weighs approximately one quarter as much as a cow. So the pig is going to be one quarter of the cow. One quarter times C. Okay, now the sheep. The sheep is going to weigh 100 pounds less than a pig. So the pig was one quarter C. So the sheep is going to be one quarter C minus 100. Okay, that's how we get those expressions there. So we just did letter A. Letter B asks, write an expression for the weight of one cow, one horse, one sheep, and one pig. So basically, I just need to add all these together. So my expression would be C plus 2C plus 1 quarter C minus 100 plus the last one, 1 quarter C. So all I did was I just added all four of those together to get the combined weight. Okay, letter C asks, if Farmer Ted has three cows, two horses, four sheep, one pig, and the scale weighs, says it weighs that, that much, 7,850, approximately how much does each animal weigh? So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and kind of use that expression we wrote before, but we need to add some more pieces in here. So three cows. So he, Ted's put on three cows. We know cow is C. So that's going to be three of them. Okay, and maybe you, you can even put a little multiply by there just to know that you got three cows plus two horses. So a horse is two C, but you have two of them plus four sheep. So you're going to have the four sheep and see that this sheep is one quarter C minus 100. So four sheep. And then last one pig, so I don't need to really multiply by one, I just put plus one quarter C, and the scale is going to total 7,850 pounds. So here we have a pretty long equation. All right, next what we need to do is start simplifying. So I can multiply. So right now this 3C just drops down, 2 times 2C would give you 4C. Okay, then this 4 has to be distributed into this parentheses. So you're going to do 4 times a quarter C. Well, 4 times a quarter is 1. So 4 times a quarter C gives you 1C. 4 times minus 100 is minus 400. And we also have this plus 1 quarter C on the end, equaling 7,850. Okay, next, combine like terms. So I'm going to combine 3 with 4, with the 1, with the quarter. And I'm combining them because they all have the same variable. It's 3 plus 4 plus 1. There's 8 plus a quarter is C. Now, at this point, I'm going to convert it to a decimal. You can leave it as a fraction if you'd like. 
I'm just converting it because it's probably going to do some calculator work here. So we get 8 and a quarter C or 8.25 C equals, oops, I forgot this minus 400, and then equals 7,850. So next I want to make this minus 400 go away, so I'm going to do plus 400. Okay, so this cancels. So you're going to have 8.25C equaling 8,250. And then we want to divide by 8.25, divide by 8.25. And if you guys look there, um, it is kind of, uh, it's kind of matching up. 8,250 divided by 8.25, which means we're going to have a, like a nice even number to work with. And if I, I think of it this way, what number times 8.25 is 8,250? And if you divide them, you're going to get C is equaling 1,000 because 1,000 times 8.25 is 8,250. Okay, so now the question asked, how much does each animal weigh? Well, C stood for a thousand. C's our cow. So a cow is a thousand, and I got to put a label on it. This is a real world problem, a thousand pounds. Okay, the horse, the horse is two times that. So a horse is two C, two times C. So two times a thousand, so you get 2,000 pounds. Okay, the sheep. The sheep is one quarter C minus a hundred. So you would have to do one quarter times a thousand minus a hundred. So a quarter of a thousand is going to be 250. So you get 250, subtract a hundred, and that's going to be 150 pounds. And last, the pig. The pig was one quarter C. So again, the pig, I just take one quarter times a thousand. We've already talked about what that answer is. And that's 250 pounds. Okay. Moving on to number four. So number four states Miley's trying to solve a riddle and the sum of three consecutive. The word consecutive means one right after another. Um, for example, seven, eight, nine are consecutive. So three consecutive integers equals 84. What are the integers? So she writes part of the equation and she starts off with n <coughs> as the first integer because she doesn't know what it is. So she just comes up with a variable. She knows the second integer is going to be whatever the first one was, but one more, which would be like, you know, eight compared to the seven. So the third integer is going to be like the first one, but it's going to be, see, one, two more. So plus two. Okay, so now you have your equation, and uh, you just got to solve it now. So you go ahead and, like, look at it. There's nothing to distribute outside. It's all positives. So we don't have to worry about parentheses. We can drop ones in front of all those ends. So you got one and one and one. So you're going to have three ends, and then I look... I got plus one plus two. So three and plus three equals 84. I'm sorry, you couldn't see that. Three and plus three equals 84. You would then subtract three of both sides. Those would cancel. And you would get three n equaling 81. Okay, last step, divide by three. This cancels. N is equal to 27, which means our first number is 27. So I can write down 27. But if you put just that down, you would miss a good portion of your points because it wants the three integers. So 27 is the first one. The second one is the first one plus one, so 28. And the third one is the first one plus two, so 29. And if I add all those together, we should end up with 84. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to page, um, let's see, 
40. Yeah, let's go to page 40. And we are going to look at uh, the story about Eli making lemonade up here at the top, number five. So he's making lemonade for a party, and uh, he's showing the ratio of water to sugar to lemon juice. And then it wants you to write a story. There, there's nothing here in besides our expression. So it gives us some information over here, and we have to turn that into a story. Okay, so I can start off and say basically what the topic is about. Eli is making lemonade for a party. Okay, so I look what, what's all given here. Um, so the cups of water is the most basic one. And so that's one where you could say he used C cups of water or he uses water, you don't know how much. Or you can also refer back to it without even mentioning water pretty much by saying like sugar. So he uses, and I look at the sugar, it's a quarter. It's a quarter of the amount of water. So he uses one fourth of the amount of sugar compared to water. So now we talked about sugar, we talked about water, um, so we can get variables from that. And then I see the next one is lemon juice. He uses half the amount compared to water. Um, he uses half the amount of lemon juice compared to water. Now we have to include a statement about this equation. And I see that when he uses all these ingredients, they come together for a total of 14 cups. So that's got to be in our story. We could say Eli makes a total of 14 cups of lemonade. So here we've used all the information. We put it into the story so far and we're almost finished. Okay, granted, you can make a story. It could be totally different than this. As long as it uses these numbers and it makes sense, then that would be fine. But for to finish it off, we need to say, we got to have a question in there. And our question refers to the answers down below, what they're trying to find out. And down below, they want to know how many cups of water, how many cups of sugar, how many cups of lemon juice. So our final question would be something like, how many cups of each ingredient did he use? Okay, how many cups of each ingredient did he use? And I put a question on there. So to figure that out, I just need to solve this equation. And what I do is I put a one in front of that C there. So then I can add one plus a quarter plus a half. Well, we need to have common denominators so we know a half is really two quarters or two fourths. So one plus one fourth plus two fourths is going to give you one and three fourths. So you have one and three fourths C equaling 14. Okay, now you can divide by one and three fourths now or divide by 1.75. So if you take 14, Go ahead and divide it by one and three fourths, or one point seven five, and I get an answer of eight. So those cancel out, and you get C is equal to eight. Okay, so then I need to make sense of what that means. So cups of water, well that was our basic variable C. Okay, so basic variable C is eight, so that's where that goes. The sugar was one quarter C. So you're thinking, what is one quarter of eight? A fourth of eight is two. And last cups of lemon juice. Um, lemon juice is one half C. So you think, what is one half of eight? 
and you're going to get four. Okay, guys, that's all we have time for today. I'll talk to you guys later.